chemo. Hey guys, today I want to show you five different mastering automation that I do on a regular basis that can take your song to the next level. Let's get right into the video. With Studio One 5.5, they finally added automation on the project page. The project page in Studio One is the place where you master your songs. It lacked automation. That was a deal breaker for me. I still used it from time to time, but when I needed something uh, really complex, when I needed automation, I was using the regular song page. Now we can use the project page and to celebrate the adding of this feature i want to show you five different automation that you can make to improve your songs in the project i have a song called touch it sounds like this when it's over and i don't have you up under me tell me who you got can you keeping you company yeah, yeah, yeah. well maybe i drink just a Let's start with a bonus trick. You can use gain envelope. So you can see that we have gain on the actual event. You can do one cool little trick with this. You can just increase the, the song when the hook hits. I will make all the moves a bit more obvious. Mastering is all about subtle moves, uh, balance. So the moves that I'm making are just to demonstrate the, the techniques. Just a small decrease in level before the hook and uh, just a small bump of maybe 0.5 dB. That's the, the range that you can uh, use without any sort of issues just a bonus now let's move to the more complex more in-depth automation that i like to do when it comes to mastering the first one is eq automation two different eq moves that i like doing one of those moves is to add some top end on the hooks right play and now we have the automation gain here and i want to increase the top end on this section with this move the hook will be more opened it will just create a small difference between the the verse and the hook giving the the hook a bit more impact another move that i like doing is to remove some uh, side information from let's call it the verse especially in the lower mids touch Gain, and now I have another automation lane. Verse, it's a bit more thinner in the sides. It's not that full. It doesn't have that big, big width. When it's over I don't have you up under me. Let's make this move even more obvious. You keeping you company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe I drink just a and when you make this subtle move, one or two dB of uh, cutting, you just add more body to the hooks and you don't mess with the important thing, the lead vocal. That's why this automation is done on the side. These are just two EQ moves that I use a lot when it comes to mastering. The next step is about stereo manipulation. I have this plugin called Midside from Good Hertz, and I like doing two automation moves when it comes to midside manipulation. Number one is decrease the width of the song on the verses and increase the width on the hook. We have this width slider here. Let's automate it right. We have it right here. So we are making the song a bit narrow in the verse and then in the hook we open up the stereo width let me make it really really obvious so that transition was from mono to full blown out 200% uh, stereo width increase Company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe I drink just 
But you can hear how this subtle move can help you with creating the illusion of a bigger hook. Another move that you can do is that decrease and bump before the hook hits. Something like this. Company. This way you can fool the ear of the listener by taking the wit out for just a brief section of the song and giving it back in the hook. These are two stereo manipulation moves that I like doing. Decrease the width on the verse, increase it on the hook. Really simple but really effective. Another great automation move that you can do is playing with saturation. You can add more saturation on the hook, you can add more saturation on the sides, especially with a plugin like Kelvin. This is a plugin that can work in mid side. Two stages, one stage for the mids, one stage for the sides. And with mid side saturation, we can do the opposite, increasing the saturation on the mids, especially when you have like a vocal that struggles in the mix. Maybe I drank just a little too much. The time we spent just wasn't enough. Alone on a road, now I'm missing your touch. Looking for a way out, awesome young drugs. I know. I know. Well, maybe I drank just a little too much. The time we spent just wasn't enough. Alone on a road, now I'm missing your touch. Looking for a way out, awesome young drugs. I well, maybe I drank just a little too much. Can automate the sides to have less saturation on the hook. Or we can go in a different way where we can automate the distortion, the saturation on the sides. So we have lesser saturation on the verse and when the hook hits we have more saturation. Time we spent just wasn't enough Alone on a road, now I'm missing your touch Looking for a way out, awesome young drugs, I know I know Well, maybe I drank just a little too much But time we spent just wasn't enough This, again, adds that weight that illusion, that impression of the hook being larger than life. This is it for saturation, a strange one. Reverb when mastering. A cool little trick that I do from uh, time to time is automating a small reverb on the master. This is the, the reverb that I have. It adds a nice sparkle on the top end. The 808, it's not present in the Reverb, so now I can just automate the mix knob and I can add a small amount. Now I'm exaggerating the, the effect, but I can add just a touch of reverb on the hook. Keeping you company. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe I drank just a little too much. The time we spent just wasn't enough. Alone on a road, now I'm missing your touch. Looking for a way out, awesome young drugs, I know. Even at 12%, it's too much. I usually go between 2 and uh, 5%. Just a smidge of reverb. It's a cool trick that I use uh, from time to time. The last automation move that I want to show you is clipping and limiting automation when mastering. This is something that took my tracks from struggling with loudness to having an audible improvement. Because I was trying to have my master sounding loud, I was pushing the clipper and the limiter sometimes a bit too hard on certain section and that created pumping and other nasty artifacts. With automation now you can just automate the clipping and the limiting in different sections of the songs. Let's say that this section here is the, the hook yeah, and I made it louder. Tell me who you got. If we clip the verse section, Tell me who you got. Can you keep a new company? Yeah. Yeah. you can see that we are clipping 1, 2 dB maximum in this section here. Tell me who you got, can you keep a new company? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe I drank just a little too much. The time we spent just wasn't enough. Alone on a road, now I'm missing your touch. Looking for a way out, 
baby, I drink just but then when the hook hits, we are clipping 6 dB. That's not good. Right, automate the threshold. And now we can automate the threshold so we don't clip that much on the hook section. Well, maybe I drink just a little so we can keep the clipping more consistent. Same goes with the final limiter, the true peak limiter. You can just drive it. Let me automate. Tell me who you got in you. Since in the verse section, we can drive it harder. Keeping you company. Tell me who you got in you, keeping you company. And on the hook section, we can drive the limiter a bit less. Maybe I drink just a little too new, keeping you company. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe I drink just... Just like that, we don't have that nasty pumping, especially when the mix gets really, really loud and in your face. These are just a couple of automation moves that I do when mastering. Let me know what you think about them. Leave a comment down below. I really believe that automation when mastering is a must, especially with nowadays music, bass heavy music, where you need to be precise, where you need to have full control over the the loudness of the track and the balance of the track and now i'm really happy that i have the automation in studio one project page i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe hit the like button don't forget to follow me on instagram thanks for the support and see you guys really really soon cheers